This is the tutorial for the haunted deck. This effect makes it appear as if the deck has taken on a life of its own. There are different methods for creating the haunted deck effect. Each method has its pros and cons. Some require a lot of practice, some don't. The version I'm going to show you is fairly easy to learn and you'll be performing it in short time. Before I show you how to pull off this amazing effect, here are a few more moves you can do using this method. It's a pretty cool effect, isn't it? Now, before we get started with the tutorial, just remember, if you don't want to know the secrets, then watch no further, because once you do know, you can't unknow. We'll give a couple seconds for those who don't want to know. Okay, these are the materials you'll need. A brand new deck of cards. I recommend bicycle playing cards. I'll explain in a minute. You'll need some magnets, some transparent tape. This is shipping packing tape. It's nice and strong and it's transparent. Do not use this kind, it won't work. You'll need an X-Acto knife for cutting, a safety pin. You'll need some transparent nylon thread. You can get this in any sewing department. It says on here size 0. 0.0005. It's nylon thread. And you'll need a hole punch. This is a 1 16th inch hole punch and it's got a deep, a deep socket so when you go to punch a hole in a card you can go at least to the halfway point. If it's too short some of them they'll just stop right there. You need a deep one, 1 16th of an inch. I got this on Amazon for like seven or eight bucks. And also, you don't need the magnets. I just threw those in for fun. I couldn't resist. The first thing is to remove the two jokers and the factory cards and the guarantee cards. Keep in mind, 
this is going to be a dedicated haunted deck from here on out. You want to separate the deck into two halves, 26 cards, 26 cards. One half is going to be normal cards that you can select from, the other half is going to be gimmicked. Remove the four aces and perhaps the four kings and a jack, queen, king, and ace so you can do different productions and these cards will go in the half that is not gimmicked so you can use these. Mix the rest of the cards and we have 10 cards there so we'll add 16 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it should be 26 here and 26 here. We're going to gimmick this half and leave the ones with the aces and whatnot in this side. The first thing to do is punch a hole in each one of these 26 cards. The reason I said bicycle playing cards because you can see right in the middle there's like a little bullseye and that's where you want to punch the hole. And just do one card at a time. If you do multiples trying to save time it leaves a little ridge on one side or the other so it's only 26 cards. So these 26 cards have holes and these do not. Select a card for your anchor card such as a 6 or a 4 without pips in the middle. We're going to do a slice on there and it's just a lot easier to see what's going on. And nobody's ever going to see this face so it doesn't matter. This is the card that the thread is going to be attached to so we're going to modify it a little bit more. We're going to punch two more holes in it and do a slice. This is the first hole. The second hole is going to be punched right about there. We have our center hole right there and then down just a little bit we have another hole. Now we're going to make a slice starting right about there and going down. Do not connect that slice with this hole. Start right there and slice about a half an inch. Try to go all the way through the card the first time. and be careful it's a razor knife. So this is what we have now center hole, that hole, and then we have our slice starting right there and coming up. Now we're gonna punch a hole right there at the end right where I'm pointing at. Punch another hole and that's it. So this is what it should look like. You got your center hole, another hole, the slice starts right there, comes up with another hole. Make sure your slice goes all the way through the back side get your nylon transparent thread cut off about three or four feet that's way more than you need but you can trim it off later tie a figure eight knot in one end of the thread it's very hard to see this is a figure eight knot pull it tight trim off a little bit of the thread, leave about a quarter inch thread sticking away from the knot. Get your anchor card and we're going to thread it through the middle, go through the face of the card, through the middle hole, and come out the back side. Now you're going to go back through your second hole. And come back out the face. Now you're going to go through your, your third hole above the slit. Once you come out the back side, make sure your knot is through and you're going to slide that string down the slit. And then pull it tight and the knot should stop right there. Pull up all your slack and there you go. You're going to use a piece of tape about this size. Holding your thread nice and tight, you're going to cover those three holes with this piece of tape and it should cover the thread and your little tail and the knot. And that's it. You have your anchor card. Nobody's ever going to see this face anyway. Take the other end of your thread and begin threading these cards. You want to go through the back. 
Now you could use a needle, put the needle on there and thread a bunch of them at a time, and then just take the needle off. We're down to the last card. And also the last card should be a good court card, such as a queen of clubs. It helps camouflage the thread and make sure to plan out which card you're going to use before getting to this point. The final card, and this is what you've created. Next, we're gonna attach the safety pin to the other end of the thread. Now, the measurement that you're gonna use from here to the safety pin, you're gonna to have to determine that after you fold around with this a little bit. I've trimmed this to about two, two and a half feet. Now I'm going to tie it through the eye of this safety pin. Make sure whatever knot you use, whether it's a fishing knot, half hitches, I did a couple figure eights in there. Make sure it doesn't come undone or the trick will be ruined. Trim off the tail a little bit. Turn them over. You can run the thread between these two fingers or these two fingers when you hold the deck. So the thread is coming down there. Place the rest of the cards, these are normal cards. Flap them on top. That's it, you're ready to go. Now you gotta tie that on somewhere. Spread the cards, only spreading the top half, retaining your gimmicked part down here. Someone selects a card, when you place it back in, make sure you place it in the bottom half. And when you get about halfway, you're going to feel it hit that thread. And it's going to take up slack when you start sliding it in. Make sure you give it the slack. Square it up. Now, all, all that has to be done at this point is the string is pulled. And it pulls your card out. If you place it on the side, make sure you go to the bottom half. You'll feel it hit that thread. Let the thread take up slack, you know, if it's attached to your side or whatever. And now all you have to do is the string has to be pulled and the deck comes alive. Now that looks mechanical. So you need some sleight of hand, a little acting, a little mystery to make it look really good. Now to do the ace production, separate the cards, your gimmick cards, from your regular cards. Find your four aces. And we're gonna load them in this way. The ace of diamonds goes in sideways, face up, close to the top. When you hit that string, let it take up the slack. Take the ace of hearts, face up, go just a little below that first ace. Feel the string take up the slack, and then your ace of clubs goes close to the bottom below that second one. You'll feel it hit the thread, take up the slack. The rest of cards go on top, and your ace of spades goes there. So you're all set up, balance the cards on your hand, and have your thread being pulled. And now you can lean forward, lean back a little bit. Make it appear as if you're the one doing it, and the gimmick is, use the gimmick just to help you out. And you can see it slides out, and I'm doing a little fast, it looks mechanical. But that's it, and then flip over your card. Now where you want to attach this safety pin is up to you. Usually on your side, near a belt loop. I had it on one of the, when I turned it over like this, you saw the queen. I had the thread running between these two fingers down the back side of my arm like this. Now, you could, you could see the on my pinky right here, you could see the thread pulling, but nobody's paying attention to that. They're busy watching the card pop out. When you're ready to store this away, just pull your thread a little tight, wind it around the deck. Pull your flaps wide open so it doesn't snag on the thread. Slide it in your box. The safety pin right on top like that. Close it up. These are my final thoughts. Don't make it look mechanical. 
practice in front of a mirror until it looks great. Hold your hand still. If the thread is attached to your waist, you can slowly move your hand and waist apart. I had it attached to my toe. Nobody could see my toe moving. If someone asks you to examine the deck, tell them the spirits won't allow it. If they keep hounding you about it, tell them, well, you don't believe I'm actually doing it, do you? That usually quiets them down, and then go into something else. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have something to say, but please, no spoiler alerts. And that's it.